Okay, we got the housing off. What a pain in the absolute rear end that was. There is a bolt. Let's see if I can get closer in here for you. The bolt down here in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it very well. There's the hole for it right there. There's a nut that went right here that was blocking it. And the doghouse was blocking it. So I ended up having to take it off. And once I got it loose, I had to loosen it by hand because I don't know how in the hell the other guys were getting it loose but I barely got it loose and I was able to finagle it off with my hand. I thought there was a total of four bolts, but there's five bolts. You got one up top, one on the left, one on the bottom left right here, and one, that was, that's the toughest bolt of all of them. That one down there on the bottom right. And then the one that's right behind, or right below, the uh, actuator. But once you get that off, take the V-band clamp off, just kind of wiggle it, and it should come loose. It looks like it's pretty dirty, so I'll clean that up a little bit. Let's give the wheel a spin just to see. Looks like it works pretty good, the old wheel. Has some, let's see if we got any wiggle to it. Actually, it's pretty tight. Let me try it again. Now, that's a tight wheel. Okay. Now, to pop it off, you need a half inch socket and an impact wrench to get that sucker off. So, and when you do it, you just want to pop the, just pop it, don't hold it and keep it spinning. Just pop it, the trigger on it. Could take up to, shoot, 10 times even. Maybe the first two times if you're lucky. Could take up to 10 times. But the wheel comparison's a lot different. Look, at that's just a, uh, how many blades do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nine blade. That's surprising. The uh, new wheel has five big blades and five little blades that go in between the little slots here. I'll show a wheel comparison in the next video. But you do need to remove, oh, I had to anyway. I don't know if everybody else will, but I had to remove, uh, I call it the doghouse. I don't know what the exact name is for it. And uh, since I got it off, I might as well reverse it, have it go out the back. And there's that bolt right there, and there's another one that went right here that I had to remove just so I can barely get in there to get, I uh, can't get any light in that sucker, but you can barely see what I'm talking about. That hole right there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wheel off now. That's the next step and I'll give you a video as soon as I'm done here. Thanks.